folks, sometimes you just gotta laugh. I'll tell you what I mean and then get into the latest home prices and insights for York Region for week ending September 13th, 2023. Now, all sorts of things happen to us in the real estate business. We're working with sellers, we're working with buyers, we're working with the public, we're working with all sorts of different situations. I'm often telling the stories on this channel. Oftentimes, they're not that great stories. It's somebody screwed up, somebody messed up, and, and it's caused a problem somewhere. This story, although is gonna cause a problem somewhere, I found it literally hilarious. We write, I've written, hundreds and hundreds of listings. And putting the description together, how you describe the house, the features, the locations, how you describe the neighborhood in the description part of the listing can be a challenge sometimes, especially after you've written so many. Many agents will turn to looking at past listings in the area for inspiration. How did, you know, how was this described? How was that described? How did they describe this neighborhood? And, and so we'll flip through other listings many times for our inspiration. Well, in doing some research, looking for properties for one of my buyer clients, I saw this listing, I was reading the description, there's the, 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 the public remarks, then there's the brokerage remarks, and I'm reading this listing and in the brokerage remarks, it read, offers are on such and such a date, please email offers to, and it had the agent's email address. So we're going to, for I, I'm going to change the name. We're going to call this Bill. It said email offers to bill at gmail.com. This is standard. This is normal. I'm in the same neighborhood looking at other properties and I come across another listing. And as I'm reading the description, it's sounding very, very familiar. And then it occurs to me that, wait a minute, this is just like the other listing I just read. So I go back and sure enough, word for word, the description is the same as the first listing. So what this agent did when I said, say that we look at other listings sometimes for inspiration, this agent copied and pasted from the first property onto his listing and just copy pasted, put everything on there exactly the same. The problem is, well, that's already a problem on its own that you just copy and straight out paste and you don't make any changes. But the brokerage remarks, he also had an offer date on his property and he changed the offer date, but he forgot to change the agent's email address to his. So on his property, it's a totally different brokerage, totally different agent. It says the offer date, please email offers to, and it said bill at gmail.com, the first agent, totally different property, totally different sellers. Imagine that. So the first agent is going to receive offers for his property and for the other property. I found this totally hilarious. I'm sure the seller is not going to find this hilarious and and the agent who made the mistake is probably you know not thinking that, that was very funny he's probably feeling pretty bad about it this property has been on the market for almost a week now crazy things happen out there sometimes if you feel this video can help somebody you know please pass it along if you get value from what we're talking about subscribe if you feel you want to speak with me about your real estate situation selling buying it's really simple below this video in the description is a link to my calendar click on that book a time that's convenient for you and we'll talk about whatever's on your mind let's get into the numbers Tons of new listings across York Region. If you're a buyer, get excited about that. Lots of choice. Seeing sellers compete tends to suppress prices. If you're a seller, listen, things are changing out there. Competition usually is not your friend. 
usually competition means you're competing, yes, in features, but you're going to compete in price and prices tend to come down when there's lots of competition. So be careful if you're a seller out there. Strategy is very important. Let's get into the numbers. Here's a quick summary. These are average sold prices for detached properties for Vaughn, Markham, and Richmond Hill. It's not too often the prices, the average prices are actually pretty close. Oftentimes we'll see these big, big spaces between average prices, but for weekend next September 13th, average prices are pretty close across these three major cities in York region. We're going to start off with Vaughn. Again, detached properties broken down by week. This chart has a whole year. For week ending September 13th, 19 detached properties were sold, which is way up from the previous week. Four of those properties sold at $2 million or more. Average sold price down a little bit from the previous week, setting at $1,734,000. 1734. 17% higher than where the average sold price was this time last year. The median price is 23% higher than where the median price was this time last year. The dotted line, that's a four week moving average and it's, it's up and down. But when I kind of look back overall, prices, both median and average price have been trending down even though there's some peaks and valleys in there. Of the 19 that sold, look, 19's not a lot. It's much higher than what it was the previous week. The previous two weeks actually were very much influenced by Labor Day weekend. And now we're one week beyond that. So it's like everybody's back into the game. That's why I'm about to show you where listings are at. Sales are normally higher in most areas this week. Well, 42% of those 19 sold that list price or more. Previously, for two weeks, Labor Day week, and we were only 22 and 23% selling at list price or more. We're now back up to 42, which is kind of where we were pre-Labor Day. Listings. We went from 58 listings to 85 listings. That's a 47% increase in listings from one week to the next. 85 in one week last time that happened and there's three months on the board here was july 5th and that was 86 so 85 is one of the best weeks of, as far as new the highest weeks we'll say it for new listings in a long time months of inventory came down from the previous week sitting at 4.1 we all knew 8.1 even the week before that 5.4 that's crazy. Labor Day affected those numbers. 4.1 still seems a bit high compared to where we were pre-Labor Day, but overall months of inventory has been increasing for Vaughn, for detached properties. <clears throat> Excuse me. Richmond Hill. 15 detached properties were sold. Three of those were at $2 million or more. 1,824,000 is the average sold price for week ending September 13th. 1,824 is 6% higher than where we were a year ago. The median price is 2% higher than where we were this time last year. It's really tough. You know, Richmond Hill has had some weeks where sales were really low and you get these huge peaks and valleys. Even the four week moving average, it's really tough to say which way prices are going. Overall, prices have been declining. We know that, we see that, and, and especially you see it when you compare like properties to like properties. 15 we said were sold, less than a third, 27% sold at list price or more. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice here. Listings went up. 35% from 52 to 70 listings of detached properties. Months of inventory went up from the previous week sitting at 4.1 months of inventory. If we go back three months, we can see months of inventory increasing, then it dropped, and now we're seeing it going back up again. Here's Markham, 18 detached properties were sold virtually over the last four weeks. There's been no change in the sales. It's up or down by one or two each week. 
Average sole price sitting at $1,747,000, which is up from the previous week. But overall, prices have been trending down. 1747 is 10% higher than where we were this time last year. The median price of 1578 is 12% higher. The dotted line over the course of three months kind of shows prices coming down, but not by that much. 18 were sold, which is not a lot. 61% of those sold at list price or more. Listings. We went from 46 to 88 listings in one week. That's a 91, they almost doubled. That's a 91% increase in new listings of detached properties. 88, as far as this chart goes, which is three months, it's the highest week we've had of new listings. Months of inventory sitting at 3.1, which is same as it was the previous week, and it has been increasing over the last three months. Here's condos. Now this is for all of York region, condo apartments. 28 condos were sold. Two of those were at $1 million or more. Average sold price sitting at 747. Overall, prices have, when you kind of look back, kind of steady, maybe slightly coming down. There hasn't been a big change in average sold price for condos. 747 is 5% higher than where we were this time last year. The median price is 1% lower. You can see here it's kind of steady, but it's starting to kind of come down a little bit here. 28 we said were sold, 29% of those sold at list price or more. Listings went from 108 to 158 in one week. If we go back a bit more, 72 were listed, then 108, and now 158. Active listings is increasing. Months of inventory sitting at 4.9. That's been going up over the last many months now. Here's a quick summary. We're pretty much in a balanced market. In some neighborhoods, it's going to feel like a buyer's market in some neighborhoods. But overall, Vaughn, Richmond, Markham, condos, pretty much a balanced market across York Region. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.